Hey guys, this is Harry from ZeroFX and in this video, we're going to talk about text dispersion effect using no plugins of course. So I was recreating the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi intro sequence the other day and I realized two things. First one was, this was just a simple text dispersion effect in time. And the second realization was, I'm very bad at recreating these things. Let's not talk about that for now. Let's talk about text dispersion. So this intro made me realize that I was doing the text dispersion effect wrong all these days. And also I believe most of the After Effects users are also doing this wrong. Let's see what I'm talking about. So create a new composition, create the text as a and a san, position it at the center, you can use the align tool for this thing. Pick on this guy and name it text. So we have the text now. Now to create the particle system, duplicate this precomp. Precomp this one more time and name this text underscore particle. Apply a CC particle systems to effect to it. We have some particles in the scene now. Now let's increase the size of the emitter. But before doing that, let's zero out the velocity and the gravity to see the emitter better. All right, let's increase the radius y to maybe like 15 and radius x to mm, 4. Okay, now let's animate the emitter position from one end to the other end. So at the first frame, give it an x position of 1920. This positions the emitter at the right side end. Set a keyframe and after say like 6 seconds, make the position 0. So this is what we created. Our emitter moves from right to left. Okay, now as we have the alpha preserved under the particle rollout, if we enable the source alpha inheritance, we can see the particles getting emitted from the text. Okay, so let's give some physics to the particle system. First, change the animation type to direction. Increase the velocity to say like 0.5. Let's check this out. Okay, that looks good. Now change the direction to 90 degrees and decrease the extra all the way down to zero. Let's also give it some negative gravity to simulate the wind. All right, now let's create a new white solid. Add a linear wipe effect to it. Mm, let's change the wipe angle to negative 90. And animate the transition from 0% to 100%. We can use the previous keyframes to guide us. So after 6 seconds, make the transition 100%. So we have a nice reveal effect. Now let's use this white solid as a luma mat for the text. And there you go. Let's also feather the transition a bit to make it smooth. Also change the particles color to white. So that's basically it. This is where most of the tutorials on YouTube leave the effect at. Uh, I mean, this looks okay if you're in like 2002, but this is 2022 right now. So this obviously needs some improvement. So let's think of this in a real world scenario. Let's say someone comes sand particles to there to make it look like this text shape right here. I know what you're thinking. Who in their right mind would make text shapes using sand? This guy must be stupid. Yes, I'm not gonna argue with that. So with that said, let's concentrate. So these sand particles suddenly decided to fly away for some reason. Maybe they hit the guy who made them or it could be because of wind too. There are chances. Or, uh, oh, maybe because of the force. Yeah, that makes total sense now. So whatever the reason, all sand particles won't react to the force the same way. This is because at some areas, sand would be more dense and at other areas, it would be less dense. Simply putting it, I'm talking about randomness here. Usually in any particle system, I repeat, in any particle system, there would be a randomness option. But hey, we are in CC particle system. Don't expect all these things. So to create the randomness, we can head into the text particle pre-comp and create a new solid and add a fractal noise effect to it. Increase the contrast to maybe like 200 and use this as a luma mat. This gives some nice variation to the text shape. Maybe we can decrease the brightness a bit and increase the contrast to say 300. Okay, that looks okay. So now check this out. This gives some nice variation to the particle system as the particles are getting emitted based on the alpha map. Nice. 
So this fixes one problem. Now if we observe here, all particles are moving in the same path as if they were in some military battalion. Well this is because there is no randomness in the force affecting them. And please don't waste your time by checking for any option here. Remember this is CC particle system man. So what we can do is we can add a wiggle expression to the direction. So I'll click the direction and write wiggle say 10 comma 20. So what this means is 10 times each second change the direction by a value of 20. So we give it a value of 90 here. So this expression gives a value between 70 and 110. 110 degrees means particles go in a downward direction which I don't want. So change the value to 70. So this gives a value between 50 and 90. So let's check this out. There you go. This adds some nice randomness to the direction of the particles. Looks good. Now let's talk about the real world scenario one more time. If some force is causing the sand particles to fly away, not all particles fly away easily. Some of them just stick to the shape and lag behind. To understand this better, imagine yourself blowing an object with a dust blower. God, kids these days. Even if you blow the dust off, it won't become completely clean in the first try itself. There will be always some dust left behind. So that requires more force to completely clean it. It's physics. Now should I say chemistry? To simulate that behavior, just duplicate the particle system and decrease the velocity all the way down to maybe like 0.1 and also decrease the gravity like minus 0.05. So let's check this out. There you go. This will add some particles which lag behind. Uh, let me isolate it to show you better. So this adds another particle system where things are a little slow. So combining them together, we get this nice variation where some particles fly off easily and some particles not so easy. So now what? Okay, unless your system is a potato, it can definitely handle a few more particles. So increase the particle count. But before doing that, decrease the opacity to say like 25. I always prefer this way. Now increase the birth rate to mm, 25 maybe. There you go. This looks a lot better. Maybe we can decrease the opacity even more. Nice. So now what about the gaps here? No particles are getting generated from here, but still the text is disappearing for some reason. That's very interesting, but I don't like it. To fix that, head into the text particle pre-comp and copy the text with the fractal noise. Control C and paste it in the main comp. Control V. Let me isolate this and change this to Luma inverted mat this time and pre-compose them both together. Name it text underscore particle 3. So go to the first frame, copy the first particle system and paste it in this layer. So let's check this out. There you go. This is emptying particles from the remaining area. Let's make these particles less denser compared to the previous particle system. To do that, decrease the particle count first. Let's say 10. And also increase the velocity and increase the gravity. As less denser areas are more easily affected by the force. There you go. These particles are going fast compared to the previous particles. So combine them all three and you will have this. Some particles leave faster, some a bit slower, and some even slower. So we're done with the particles for now. So let's concentrate on this text reveal now. And no, giving it a perfectly straight linear vibe with some feather is not the way to do it. It's just too lazy. We need to add some randomness. Because nature loves randomness. And nothing is perfect in this world. So what we can do is, let's add a turbulent displace effect to it. Okay, let's isolate this to see it better. Good. Add another turbulent displace effect but with less size this time, maybe like 10. And increase the complexity to make the edge more jagged. See that looks better, nah? but we are not done yet. If you observe here, as we said before, more number of particles are coming from this area and less from this area. But our text reveal is behaving as if it doesn't care about any of those things. So we need to add some interaction between the text and the particles to blend them better. To do that, select the text particle 3 comp and duplicate it. Place it at the bottom, delete the particle system and we have this Luma inverted text now. So now if we duplicate this linear web solid and use it as a Luma mat, we will get this noisy text reveal. So the idea here is to place this guy underneath the normal text reveal and offset the keyframes of the transition effect by say like, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe offset by 5 frames to delay the reveal animation. Now let's check this out. There you go. Our text is more or less reacting to the particles now. 
This is looking as if there's an underneath layer to this plane shape and that's actually a good thing. And if you feel like the underneath layer is too bright, you can add a cause effect and decrease the brightness just a bit. Yeah, that looks better. You see that? That looks good and better compared to this right here. And because of the way we created this, if you change the text to something else, zero effects, it will automatically update. Great, no need to do all this stuff again. Okay, now for this Obi-Wan Kenobi intro, I just used the same techniques to create a basic text dispersion effect and then inverted the animation by reversing the time. So compared to the original, <laughs> my version looks like Obi-Wan ran out of gas. But in all seriousness, this effect requires some turbulence effect within the particle force field and that requires a plugin. It cannot be replicated just with After Effects without any plugins. I'm not backing myself, but I'm just saying that it's hard to do this stuff without any plugin. If, if I have Trapcode Particular, maybe I can do that. But here, the good thing is, this works as a template. You can change this text, this text, and also you can adjust this shape position by using this null object. Feel free to experiment, but don't forget to subscribe. So with this, I'm done. Are you